Talk about going above and beyond the call of the forecast. What did I say last week? A few inches? Holy moly. Now, it's not everywhere, but northern Vermont, above 3,000 feet. It started snowing on Thursday night. Six inches surprise snow Friday morning, and it didn't stop until Sunday. 20 to 30 inches from Mount Mansfield. Great photos. Thank you, Stowe, for sharing. Uh, north to Jay, Smugglers, Sugarbush. Everybody got at least a little snow, but a small portion of Ski of the East got big snow. Not quite as big as a 25-foot Frosty. That's what I'm going to have to sell you instead of the winter cane. You know, I promised you a winter cane this week. The winter cane's not happening. So how about a polar vortex? That's like a hurricane from winter, but the wind is more up in the sky. Uh, there is a serious cold air mass coming in. We are going to turn snow guns on in the next three days all the way to northern Georgia. Do we have snow guns in northern Georgia? I think so. The whole entire length of the Appalachian Trail of the east, right into Canada and the St. Lawrence, of course, cold enough to make snow. It's not exactly a polar vortex, but it's the first real Arctic intrusion of the season coming in with a front. Yeah, there's a boatload of wind coming in on Friday and Saturday, but it's also going to cause incredible Great Lake effect snows, and a snow band will actually go from Hudson Bay, Canada, right down into northern Vermont, northern New Hampshire. Uh, so there's a, also a series of low pressure systems. We had snow off and on all week, and uh, the snow stake at Mansfield is going to cross, cross three feet. We have more snow and better skiing now than we had pretty much all last winter, and there's really no end in sight. There's a parade of storms coming across the nation. It's snowing from coast to coast. Here in the east, it looks like our greatest snowfall is going to occur probably Sunday night with a system coming in. So the weekend, the wind is going to relax, temperature will get back up above zero in the summits, and Sunday should be choice with more snow coming in Sunday night. If you're on the road Sunday night, you're probably going to get snowed on. And then on Monday's fresh powder day again, and then it could break off a little bit. Tuesday turns cold again. Wednesday, another potential storm where it doesn't look like any serious blockbuster. Uh, no winter cane near New England, but a bunch of snow coming on and off, really. Uh, for the next week or two some great skiing we're gonna be able to build 25 foot snowmen well not really because it's gonna be too powdery it is powder alert in the east we'll see you on the slopes So where do you get a 25-foot snowman? Everything big comes from Texas. <laughs> <laughs> How did you find that thing? Uh, a friend of mine had one, and uh, he gave me the address to where it was, and I called him, and they shipped it out here. <laughs> yeah. So is this thing ready for a blizzard, or uh, can it withstand a, a nice can nor'easter? It can withstand 35, 40 mile an hour winds, but after that, you got to deflate it. This guy may be doing a little rocking well, this Well, the other weekend. day on uh, Saturday was kind of windy. What is it, yep. 35 mile an hour yep. winds here? He was fine. All right. He's bouncing around. His pipe was bouncing. He was waving. <laughs> so where do people have to come to see this giant snowman and get their Christmas wreath? At R&C Farms, right down here in Situate. Come on down. Thanks, Ronnie. Yeah, thank you.